Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadie and today we are doing a look using the Beauty Bay Book of Magic. This is what the palette looks like. I mean like, is this just not made for me? It's got every single colour that I absolutely adore in the world. So if you'd like to see how I've done this look, then keep on watching. Just a quick reminder that I do have a palette giveaway. I'm giving away the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. So if you'd like to enter that, I'm going to leave a, a link up down below. It was for my goal of 700 subscribers by the end of... 2020 and i'm very ha happy that i i'm very happy that i finally reached that goal but the more the merrier i mean what an accomplishment oh. it'd be an accomplishment if i got to 750 by the end of the year so yeah the competition ends at the end of december and i will announce a winner then okay so i've got my primer on um i think i'm gonna do a two looks one palette because I really want to do a purple, blue and teal sort of look which is basically like the main colours of this palette. This ain't going to be anything detailed or major, um, this is just because I don't have many clean brushes and most of the brushes I have are very fluffy so I can't really do a lot of detail at the moment because I CBA do clean my brushes. First thing I'm going to do is just take a really cheap Fraulein brush and I'm going to take the shade Cursed which is the matte deep blue and I don't know what I'm doing um, I'm probably just going to do my typical sort of smoked out look and I'm going to start from the bottom first oh I think this brush is a little bit too big yeah it's way too big fuck oh god well no I'm not using that brush Change your mind, I need a smaller brush. This one might be a bit better. So it's the Luxe Smoker Shader Brush from Zoeva. And you can see how nice and pigmented that is already. I'm going to start edging upwards. I've put... I've really tapped off the excess as well. And it seems to be falling out a bit. But that isn't a humongous issue for me. So far from what I've used on Beauty Bay, I really do like the eyeshadows. Because I have the... My Mama Mitchell one and the Beauty Bay and I've recently just got the Brights palette but I actually haven't used it yet so this is only my third Beauty Bay palette I've ever tried. It's a little bit patchy but I don't expect anything major from a blue. Wow this is really messy I'm really sorry. I'm going to pop this through my crease as well and link it up with that little triangle. Even though it's a little bit patchy, this is a pigmented blue and it's a beautiful like mid midnight blue is what I would describe it as. Alright, nice. Then gonna take a Morphe M456 and I'm taking the shade Trick, which is the second darkest matte blue. I'm sorry, my camera just keeps on focusing out and I'm trying to like watch my screen at the same time. And I'm just basically going to do that like the 50-50, so I blend that shade, whatever it's called, the curse, that's it. And blend this upwards as well. This looks really messy because I'm not holding the mirror really close to my face, which is what I should be doing. Also, yay, we hit 700, wow, that was the lamest thing I've ever done. We finally hit 700 subscribers. Thank you all so much to my new subscribers for subbing. I'm still holding the Thursday competition until the end of December. So I won't announce it until the end of December, just so it has like, this has only been up for a couple of days, just so people have another chance if they want to win it. And if they discover my channel, that would be pretty nice. But a lot of you have entered, which is really, really nice to see. I like the tone of this blue. It's really brightened it. Okay. I can still see a bit of a patchiness of that curse shade here, but I'm sure we can sort it out eventually. I'm then going to take the shade Elix Elixir, which is the light blue, and this is on a Spectrum B11, and do exactly the same with that. Oh my god, I can't remember these shades. Trick shade, and just blend that outwards with the light. This is actually a very early Christmas present. Now I'm supposed to have this for Christmas, but my best friend Jess 
Um, we always exchange each other, obviously we don't see each other on Christmas Day. So normally we meet up with each other before Christmas and then um, we open our presents there because we want to see each other's reactions. Um, hello! Thank you all. Um, but we didn't this year, but we still exchanged our presents and we went home. Well, actually, I was going to keep it until Christmas Day, and then my friend just, which Jess was literally just like, I've opened them. I was like, what? You've opened your Christmas presents? She was like, yeah, thank you. So I was like, well, I'm opening fucking mine now. The funny thing about getting me presents is that normally I don't actually ask Jess what she needs or wants. I normally buy something, like, I don't tell her what I'm buying. I think it's only once or twice I've actually asked her what she wants. But she always asks me because, uh... There's always something I want or need. And she's pretty good at getting it for me. So she got me a... Oh, I was a bit too blunt there. She got me this palette because I really wanted it because this is literally like a dream palette for me. This is all my tones in one and I adore it. Um, and plus, I think I, get, I sent it to her when it was on offer so she didn't pay a lot of money for it anyway. I mean, it's a ridiculously cheap palette anyway for £15, but... She bought me this and then she also bought me another Jeffree Star Mannequin liquid lipstick because I've literally practically ran out of it and I'm really happy that she bought me it. And then she also bought me this. How fucking stunning is this lip gloss? I only have the Shane Dawson one from Jeffree Star. I've never been a gloss person, which I know some of you probably know if you've been on my channel. Sorry, I'm drinking Pepsi, so I'm really gassy. Um... And I just really was like, do you know what? I'm going to try an actual proper gloss. And this is the fucking prettiest thing I've ever seen. Now, I'm definitely going to collect the glosses. Like, I'm totally going to buy more of them. And just collect them probably now. So she bought me that as well. And she got me some... She got me a Terry's Chocolate Orange. I mean, standard for Christmas. So I'm just going to redo the steps just to intensify everything again. And then I'm probably going to do the bottom and then clean it up. All right, I've cut the crease. I'm now going to, I've just got like a, another flat shader brush and I'm gonna take the shade potion first, which is this beautiful, oh, beautiful blue. And I'm basically gonna put this like in the center part. <laughs> I just love blue. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Yeah, these shimmers are like the same as the normal Beauty Bay shimmers. Um, I do have a little bit of an issue with them because they're like this more cream texture. I do feel like in certain areas of my eyes where my lid creases and whatever, like it does crease with it, but it's not nothing major that I would not not use the palette. Ugh. Oh. That blue is stunning. Also, just a quick thing, um, saying thank you to everyone who wished my family well. Um, I don't know if any of you, some of you might not know that my mum and dad have had COVID. My dad was in hospital with it. Um, he's now out of hospital, luckily enough, but he's still feeling pretty rough in his own words. So, yes, just thank you for everyone who wished them well. Alright, now I'm going to take another brush that's similar to that and I'm going to take the shade Charmed which is the purple. Oh this one's a little bit more crumbly, really crumbly actually. Um, I might spray that with setting spray. That's a really pretty shade. I would say I had to go in a few more times with this one because it's a little bit more crumbly. That if I think if it was on a larger scale, I would have gone in my finger a bit better. Just to get a little bit more coverage underneath as well. 
Just put a little bit more setting spray on. What's nice about this um, purple is that it has like blue tones in it anyway, like the sparkle, so it comes off really pretty. Do you know what? Should I just add the blue? I'm going to add the blue as well. Oh, it's gone in my eye. And then that brush I used, which I don't know what brush it was, for that moonlight shade, which was the um, brow bone colour, I'm going to use in my inner corner. I think I'm then going to take the Makeup Obsession and Tiffany cocktail pencil and I'm going to put that in my waterline. I'm actually just to like amp up a little bit more then, I'm going to take Distortion from Urban um, Decay and I'm going to basically like put that in my cut crease area just to add a little bit of oomph. Yeah, so it just adds, it just adds a little bit of, um, a little bit of sparkle. Um, I'm gonna put my lashes on. I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. I'm gonna put the uh, mascara on, and I'm gonna come back and do this eye. So I've put the mascara and whatever on this eye. So this eye is all done. I absolutely love this, by the way. Um, I'm then gonna take a Morphe M433. So obviously I've primed on this side, and I'm gonna take the shade. Bewitched. Not a lot really like comes out on that brush actually. Hmm, let's see this. I mean, my brush was stained by the way, so it doesn't look that appealing. I have primed my lids with P. Louise, and I'm just gonna pop this in my inner corner part. It's actually come out really pretty. Oh, I really like that shade. That literally is like Breakfast at Tiffany's from Jeffree Star. Um, I'm then going to take a, another brush. Uh, I'm going to take the Wish shade, which literally looks like that one shade from the Nikki Tutorials palette. Uh, I'm just going to blend that out with it. That I use that. Do you know what? I'm so useless remembering that the Bewitched. Useless at the shades I've literally just used, and I can't remember what they're called. Then take an ABR Techniques base shadow brush and I'm taking the shade Voodoo yeah which is the matte purple and I'm gonna pop that through my crease here I fucked up this high <laughs> royally it's okay it's okay it's okay All right, I need now another blending brush. I'm running out of brushes. I really need to clean my brushes. On a Zoeva Luxe Petite brush, I'm going to take the shade Sorcery, which is like the second purple shade, and I'm going to blend that outwards. I'm going to take the shade Enchanted on the Luxe Defined Crease Brush from Zoeva, and I'm going to blend that Oh, sorcery shade, wow. Fuck my mind. Okay, I don't feel like, I know I'm using a really fluffy brush, but I don't feel like that sorcery shade's blending out quite ni as nicely as I wanted it to, but it's fine, I'll make it work. Yeah, it's making it look really messy because it's just not blending nicely. It's not very easy to work with at the moment. Yeah, I'm not liking the purples of this, which makes me really sad. It just looks a fucking hot mess, but... Uh, I'm just making this worse as I go on. Alright, I've done the bottom. Um, I'm not in focus. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly clean this up with a bit of micellar water. Um, hello, I wasn't recording, but all I've literally done is just put that purple shade in my middle middle of my lid. I actually thought I was recording, but I was just saying how I'm using my finger. I'm not going to go crazy and do another full-blown cut crease. I'm just going to make this a little bit more natural. It's not fucking natural, is it? But you know what I mean? All right, I think then I'm gonna do the same on my finger again. I'm gonna take that sh spell shade, which is that, oh my God, uh, beautiful. Oh my God, it's so fucking pretty, oh my God. Um, beautiful tealy blue shade, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. And I'm basically gonna push that upwards. Oh my God, that is stunning. I don't know if you can see I'm dispersing it just a little bit into my crease because I don't want it like too perfect but it still is very very pretty um what else was I gonna do I still think I'm gonna put that teal in my bottom here like I done on the other side but I'm not gonna put the purple I think I'm just gonna put the teal there just for something different I'm gonna use the shade alchemy which is like it kind of has like this duochrome pinky to gold and I'm going to put that in my inner corner. I'm now just going to add a bit of um, sexy chilli from the P. Louise crisp finish because it is like literally matches that bewitch colour so I'm going to quickly pop that in my waterline. Alright I pretty much think I'm done with this look. Um, also, I'm not done but I'm not going to add any more eyeshadow or anything. I'm going to do the same as what I've done on this side. I'm going to add my mascara, liner and lashes. I'm not going to go off and do my base and I shall be back to give you my final thoughts on the palette. Here's the finished look. Um, I really like it. I thought I'd go a bit bold with the lip and I feel like it ties in really, really nicely actually. Um, I do look a bit mental but I also absolutely love it. Um, my lips are Creator from Maybelline mattes ink and then i've got sorcery from the bloodlust collection from jeffrey star right here's my final thoughts from what i used in the palette i mean this palette was like literally like made for me these are like my dream shades in the palette teal blue purple and your standard neutrals um this palette's absolutely beautiful yes i didn't use a lot of shades actually how many shades do i use i really, really like this palette i feel like this is a palette i'm going to use a lot because like I said, I love to wear my blues, my purples, but I know that also has like a neutral side for me. I was actually quite surprised. I know this is me being probably a bit stingy of how small it actually was. I don't know why, but I was just expecting it to be a little bit bigger. I mean, if I want to compare it to another, other palettes, like, yes, I know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, how am I going to show you this? I know the Nikki Tutorials palette was a bit more expensive, but... If you actually look at the pan differences and these are the same size pans as the made by Mitchell one but they are the same size as the other Beauty Bay palettes like the bright matte ones I don't know I just expected it to be a bit bigger but other than that it is actually a really nice handy little size if you wanted to take it away as well or travel with it it's a really pigmented palette it's definitely worth 15 pounds 100% um, like I said they've got the beautiful Beauty Bay shimmers which are really nice like I said I do have my own issues with them like at the very crease part of my eyes like it does sort of crack a bit but it's only noticeable unless you literally right here in front of my face but obviously I notice all the little things there's my dream palette I really really like it I'm really glad I got this palette it's definitely worth it £15 100% like I would happily go out like this as well no issue I definitely probably am going to use this palette more than I actually think I would um I need to do a declutter. I need to get rid of my palette so I actually like use some of them. The only flaw I had was the purples. I mean, it still came out okay. Like nothing terrible. I've used worse of purples. I mean, I've used worse purples in an Anastasia palette. Um, that probably was just the mo main disadvantage of the palette. Like the purples were quite patchy. Um, the darker p colors were patchy as well, but that's just standard with like blues and dark purples. And it still worked out okay. Right, okay, so here's the end of the video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget, I do have a Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette giveaway. I shall link it. Is it this way? <laughs> I'll link it here. That's the... Con that 
every fucking time I close a video, every time I close a video. That is the video that you have to comment on below and subscribe to my channel to be entered. Um, so yeah, good luck if you want to enter that as well. Just don't forget to subscribe and give me a nice big thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!